We're in the stadium that hosts one of the coldest bowls in the country. Bronco Stadium, the site for the Roadies Humanitarian Bowl. And it's going to be a cold afternoon for this game between the Idaho Vandals and the Bowling Green Falcons. It's kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Tackled at the 32. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their. He's in the shotgun. Three wide receivers. Draw play. First down. Straight ahead for about six yards. And with that, they're going to pick up the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. Right around the 44 yard line. This kid should. Back. Mullen gets the ball. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. And he busts a big one on this defense. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They'll bring him down at the 15. Thanks, Brad. I saw him limping over here on the sidelines and then asked the trainers if it was serious. They told me he strained a muscle in his leg. As a precaution, they're keeping him out for the rest of the game. Brad, I'll see the corner shows some moves and he's in they managed to find the end zone on the ground nice job by the offense when it Kurt well coach just like you always say here's the drive summary to recap what just happened out of a nickel back to pass Receivers got the first down, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Heck of a catch by the wideout to pick up a nice shot. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 17-yard line. Split out. The quarterback in the gun. And they got him. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. That was a great call by the defense, bringing the pressure and leaving the quarterback with very few options. And they tack on three points. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Down into the end zone again. Gets it, he's in space. And he's tackled at the 47. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a Sheehan steps to the line of scrimmage. He has three receivers. Back to pass. With the catch and knocked out of bounds. Pretty good gain, more importantly, though, it's good for the first down. Fields in an offset eye formation. Bullock gets another carry. Touchdown, Bowling Green. So it's the halfback who again is able to punch it in on the ground. That's his second score of the ball game, and it's still plenty early in this game, Kirk. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries. Here's our drive summary. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Tackle around the 48-yard line. The defensive coordinator has been saving that one. Five DBs on the field. Looking to throw. Heavy pressure, and he throws it to the defense. He's at the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. So they'll review this to see if the receiver had control of the ball. But I got to tell you, I think it looked like the ball bounced into his hands. You know, the ball can touch the ground and still be a complete pass, but the receiver has to have full possession of the football or they'll call it incomplete every single time. The ruling on the field stands. It's a catch. And the receiver knew he caught it the whole time. Give to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 19. 
Some second half adjustments definitely needed in this one. Our score, Bowling Green, 21, Idaho, 3. 21, Idaho. With three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Caught, open field. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man has become... around the 20-yard line. Simple little play there, and it nets him enough yards for the first zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give you... Looking for the corner. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. The halfback punches it in for the score. Oh, that was a nice play. Let me tell you why. He had good blocking up front, a halfback who runs hard. What else can you ask for when you're inside the 10-yard line? Our leads us to our drive summary. He had a man in his face as soon as he touched the football. He gets sacked on the play. Ooh, he took a shot. They just let him go completely un... Looking to throw. Pass time. Under pressure. Intercepted. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough. This time. Runs it. In. Oh, he's level. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole with that. Throws it out right to the running back. He might have a chance at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. And Lee, what do you think about that touchdown catch? Man, I loved it. This halfback is a top-notch college football player. And that run and catch proved why. Lance with the drive summary. With three receivers in the set. Sheehan drops to throw. And it's knocked down. That's a fantastic defensive effort. Put out the quarterback in the gun. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. To the 20. Touchdown, Falcons. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score picked in tight on the line. Deep pass down the left side. Missed him. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. This is to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. On the run of the defense will hold. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. line under center. One in the backfield. He's tackled at about the 13. Heck, they might as well keep throwing it the whole game if they're going to make big plays. Gets rid of it quickly. Fires quickly, and they got a it. dynamic player. We'll take a look at the drive summary. He's on the field for the defense. Looks to pass. He throws. They'll bring him down. Drops back to pass. Receivers got the first down. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41. And that run was good for big yardage there. Here's one thing. They go with the run, and he's going to be stopped short. Seems as though they didn't want to risk stopping the clock on an incompletion, so they kept it on the ground. 
Fourth down now. It's in the books. And our final score, the Falcons, 35, and the Vandals, 17. Lee, what are your final thoughts here as we take a look at the play of the game? Well, these guys definitely got the job done today, Brad. Bowling Green didn't play their best game in their minute. But this is college football, where every game counts. And if you win, you're happy. If you lose, you're not. It's that simple. Folks, thanks for tuning in to another game of NCAA Football 10. Along with Aaron...